coming up in the news, the nation's leader delivering good news for Grand Bahama's economy. The Free National Movement Grand Bahama Council marking the 27th anniversary of the party's rise to power. And hear how the Grand Bahama Power Company is giving back by powering the community. The Bahamas Tonight, the Northern Edition starts now. This is the Bahamas Tonight, Northern Edition. You're watching the Bahamas Tonight, the Northern Edition. Good evening all, I'm Shashina rolf Arkison. As always, it is so great to have you with us. Topping news, reviving Grand Bahamas' economy continues to be a top priority of the FNM government. And the nation's leader delivered some good news for this island during the Torchbearers Youth Association Convention over the weekend, confirming a multi-million dollar project for Grand Bahama. Now, the Prime Minister also giving an update on the country's economic state and employment numbers in this report. I am pleased to announce that after many months of negotiations, we have delivered a deal for Grand Bahama. Met with great anticipation and high energy, the nation's leader told those attending the Torch Bars Youth Association Convention that Grand Bahama's economy is about to turn around as a multi-million dollar carnival cruise port set to be built in East Grand Bahama near the University of the Bahamas is about to move forward. This mega development is expected to create hundreds of jobs in the short term and has the potential to provide more than 1,000 direct and indirect permanent positions within the next few years. It has been reported to be one of the largest facilities of its kind worldwide. I am pleased to confirm that the government has delivered a massive project for the people of Grand Bahama. This evening, I am pleased to inform the residents of Grand Bahama and the entire Bahamas that the Carnival Port Development is going full steam ahead. As they pledge to keep the fire burning, the nation's leader also noting that his administration made three promises to the Bahamian people to fix the rapid economic decline, endless downgrades and reckless deficits, and they will continue to do just that. We promised to do so by expanding and growing the economy in order to produce more jobs and to provide greater opportunity for Bahamian families and entrepreneurs. Expanding Bahamian ownership of the economy and access to opportunity for all is the enduring mission of the Free National Movement. Prime Minister Minnis also gave the latest figures as it relates to unemployment throughout the country. The national unemployment rate improved in the latest May 2019 report. It dropped from 10.7% to 9.5%. This is the lowest unemployment rate in 10 years. On a year-over-year -year basis, employment grew by 6,635, or 3.2% net new jobs. Well, tonight we also have an update on the sale of the Grand Lucayan Resort and the redevelopment of the Freeport Harbor. Earlier this year, the government signed a letter of intent with the ITM Group and Royal Caribbean. While well, at last report, the government had extended the letter of intent for the purchase of the resort property by 30 days to give all of the partners involved time to explore all areas of the multi-million dollar deal. In an interview with the ZNS News, Deputy Prime Minister the Honorable K. Peter Turnquest said that negotiations continue to move forward.
Minister of Tourism, the Minister of State for Grand Bahama, as well as the technical people were over in Florida just uh, last week, I think it was, uh, um, discussing further the plans. Um, so once we have the final plan that they intend to put forward, um, uh, then that should be going forward for approvals also. And today, August 19th, marks the 27th anniversary of the FNM's rise to power as the government of the Bahamas. Yesterday, members of the governing free national movement took time out to celebrate the 1992 victory at the polls. Leaders within the organization and supporters joined the congregation at the New Life Worship Center off Call Road for a service of Thanksgiving. Italia Hall has more. It was a time of reflection, praise and worship as members of the Free National Movement celebrated 27 years since the party's rise to power as the government of the Bahamas on August 19, 1992. Deputy Prime Minister the Honorable K. Peter Turnquest says over the years the party has achieved many accomplishments but as that there were challenges as well. You know we like to romanticize about the past but we forget the struggles and the sacrifices and the pain that came with that accomplishment. And it is the people like Mr. Moore and Governor General, now Governor General, His Excellency C.A. Smith, and all those who would have gone before, some still with us and some that would have passed. It was their sacrifice and their pain and struggle that allowed us to have the kind of democracy that we have today. He says the country has come a long way. We've seen many successes, and young people today tend to forget that we didn't just wake up yesterday and have the quality of life and the advantages that we have. We, despite all the challenges, we are still one of the best little countries in the world. And in, the, in the previous life, I always said I wish I could take every little boy and every little girl on some of the travels that I took. Because you will see that no matter what you see on TV and the glitz and the glamour, these people have the same struggles, the same challenges that we have. Pastor of New Life Worship Center, Bishop Simeon Auden, telling the congregation that no matter what their political preferences are, it is important to pray for the leaders in the nation. He also focused on the topic... Don't faint, fight. What does it mean to fight? You need to be strong. You need courage. You need a made up mind. And you need to be determined. You need determination. What does it mean to fight? You need to be strong. You need courage. You need a made up mind. You need determination, and I want to add one more. You need to be focused. Can I get a more church to stay focused? Focus. Italia Hall, ZNS Network News. news it's becoming a growing trend on social media persons recording others injured and in distress on the scenes of tragic incidents but the bahamas red cross grand bahama center is decrying this act instead they're encouraging persons to put down the phones and render assistance and this report our jamila Mizik tells us how the organization is prepared to assist in this regard if you see someone in need of medical attention, would you know what to do? That's the question the Bahamas Red Cross Grand's Bahama Center is posing to residents. The organization, which has been around for decades, is responsible for not only rendering first aid and CPR care, but also teaching the skill to others. Chairman of the Bahamas Red Cross Grand's Bahama Center, Ronaldi Forbes, says first aid is extremely important and something the Red Cross promotes on a regular basis. In our schools, it's required. Uh, on our job is required, at our homes is required, and sometimes um, uh, first it cannot save everyone's life, but at the same time, just doing something basic makes a difference. Uh, if someone is bleeding, um, first direct pressure on that wound to stop the blood, and then if CPR is required, doing that, that makes a difference. Uh, if somebody's choking, um, doing uh, stomach thrust and back blows makes a difference. Now Forbes says first aid is something that everyone should be knowledgeable about, but he says there are many reasons why persons do not render assistance but he says first aid has a 
guide to help persons make better decisions. If you follow these steps, then there are protection in place for you as a responder where that uh, to uh, negate the transmission, the transfer of any uh, diseases uh, or whatever or being sued and so forth. So uh, we say the three C is check, call, care, and then identify yourself and say, and then give care based on your level of experience. You know, uh, if you do that, then you'll be better equipped in giving care to first someone who, uh, who needs assistance. And for persons interested in learning first aid and CPR, here's how you can. Uh, you call us at 352-7163-7165 and then leave your name. Uh, we even come time, we have a uh, third Saturday in each month. Uh, we have a first aid class. Uh, and then um, we also, uh, if there's businesses, so they have a large uh, uh, numbers and so forth, then we'll go to person, you know, businesses and so forth to give assistance and so forth. Jamila Mizek, ZNS Network News. Coming up, we'll tell you about a local hot dog vendor who's doing big business. You're watching The Bahamas Tonight, the Northern Edition. Stay with us. There's more news on the other side of the break.